So we've just finished um, tasting the 2009 lesser wines, Cru Bourgeois wines as you call them. They're not Cru Bourgeois. Cru Bourgeois don't have a classification in uh, Sauternes like they do in the middle. We just call them that. Anything not classified and good, we call Cru Bourgeois. Um, and we started with Chateau Vestal Lavantine, uh, a lot sweeter than the uh, 2007 and 2008. This is real opulence. It's like crunching into a, uh, a bunch of really overripe golden grapes. Uh, very, very rich and fruity. And then the Chateau Comte de Gris, Denis du Bourdieu's wine. Um, again, a very rich version for him. I've never tasted such a rich Comte de Gris. Um, it's a little bit honeyed and uh, uh, very sweet. and uh, uh, it's, like, it's like a spoonful of honey. Uh, but it's got complexity too. Uh, but I think we need to wait for it a little bit. Some of these wines are a bit upset. Some of them are cloudy. You can probably see... Well, actually, these, yeah, this one's a bit cloudy. You can see. Um, you don't want to worry about that too much. Um, the weather's very changeable at the moment. The barrels are uh, creating little currents in the barrels which bring up the lees and, and so forth. Um, then we had uh, Chateau La Clotte Casalis. Uh, lovely, fresh, fragrant wine. Beautiful, uh, just like the 07 was just now. Uh, if you're into something a little bit lighter than the, um, than the really big, massive first growth of uh, this is your wine. Uh, it's just fragrant, fresh, minty. Uh, it's got everything. It's elegant, uh, beautiful wine. Um, then we tasted the La, La Trisotte, um, which is Bernard Magret's new chateau in Sautan. I thought this was just terrific. Beautiful point and lift and tightness and a strictness to the balance, which kind of belied. You don't see the opulence in, uh, through all that, uh, all that structure of wine. I call that structure. It's difficult to define. But there's something just all together about it. it it's tight. It's it, it, the glass doesn't slop around, it's just all tight there and it's just such a pleasure to drink. Um, then we tasted Chateau Liot, uh, which is, I think, wait a minute, uh, this glass here. No, that's the Latre Zot. This is the Liot. Um, uh, right next door to Climas, a little um, uh, chateau which is producing very rich wines, uh, lovely uh, fullness and richness. But with, with a lovely point of uh, acidity on there. I'm surprised by the acidity because it's got all this opulence and then you get the acidity, which really makes it almost a sort of 2001 style. Um, chateau Parterieux, uh, uh, which is the little, little chateau um, which um, the Mercadiers bought once they sold uh, Sudero. They bought two chateaus. In fact, they bought the Chateau de Veille and Chateau Parterieux. Parterieux is their property right here in Farg. Um, it's just down the slope from uh, Chateau de Fargue, uh, it's not right up on the top, um, but they get great petritis and uh, if you select out what they make every year, um, we sell uh, maybe two thirds of it in bulk and then the, re the real top third we put in the bottle under their, under their Chateau name. And uh, it's just lovely and sweet and beguiling, uh, lots of minerals, tastes a little bit like, um, oh, I, th I thought it tasted like a little bit like Sir Shell Madeira. It had a lovely sort of savorous touch to it. Um, and then we finished up with Domaine de l'Alliance, the wine from Daniel Alibron. Now this is the uh, commercial fisherman turned uh, uh, vine grower who uh, inherited this property from his wife. And when the, uh, the Spanish pushed him out of business in, uh, in the fishing business, he uh, took up winemaking. He's suddenly got the message and uh, he's um, producing a wine which is very rich, very opulent, but oh so fine. This is just crew class A, first growth status to me. And that lovely freshness of acidity again. You know, a lot of these wines have um, the difference of 2009 from 2001. Is maybe that the 2001s made their balance through the acidity. Whereas the 2009s have a little bit less acidity than that, they have enough, but they have a little bit less, and they make up the balance through this freshness of fruit. And this wine has both, it has the acidity and the freshness of fruit, uh, which balance out this extraordinarily strong, uh, thick uh, richness in the wine. I think that's absolutely super duper.